Hey everyone, in this problem we have a complex uh, function, f of z equal to z times the conjugate of z. And the question is, is it analytic at z equals 1? So before we do anything, we should probably rewrite this uh, in a way that is more helpful. So f of z is equal to z times the um, conjugate of z. So what you can do here um, is use a formula. So if you have z times the conjugate of z, that's equal to the modulus of z uh, squared. And that's equal to x squared plus y squared. Boom. And say, what is going on? Well, remember, um, z is x plus i y. And the conjugate of z is x minus i y. So if you multiply this out, you end up with x squared plus y squared. And that's the modulus of z squared. Recall the modulus of z is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So when you square it, you simply get this. This is a very uh, common formula uh, from complex analysis. OK, so now we can write this as u plus iv. And we can identify u and v. So in this case, u is equal to x squared plus y squared. And v must be equal to 0. Right, you can think of uh, us adding a 0i here, if you like. So if it is analytic at 1, the Cauchy-Riemann equation should hold at 1. Let's go ahead and work out the Cauchy-Riemann equations. The Cauchy-Riemann equations say that u sub x is equal to v sub y, and u sub y is equal to negative v sub x. So if this guy is analytic uh, at 1, this holds at 1, right? This should be true at z equals 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite what we have. So ux is simply 2x. All right, it's the partial of u with respect to x. The derivative of y is 0 in that case. And v sub y is simply 0 because the derivative of 0 is 0. u sub y is 2y. And uh, negative v sub x, that's just going to be 0 again. So in particular, at z equals 1, now keep in mind, what is z equals 1? That means you have x plus iy equals 1. So what does that mean? That means that x is 1 and y is 0. So if this were to occur, what would happen here is everything would fall apart. You would get 2 times 1 equals 0. So you would get 2 equals 0. So if the Cauchy-Riemann equations hold, then 2 must be equal to 0 which is impossible. That's a contradiction. So there is no way that this guy can be analytic at z equals 1. That's it.